Hello everyone and welcome back to our gaming channel. Today, we have an exciting video lined up for you as we delve into the world of gaming. Whether you're a casual gamer, a competitive player, or simply love exploring virtual realms, you've come to the right place. In this video, I suggest some of the best gaming laptops. 1. Razer Blade 14 The best gaming laptop we've tested is the Razer Blade 14. This premium 14-inch model has a sturdy aluminum chassis, a comfortable keyboard with per-key RGB backlighting, and plenty of ports for peripherals. It's very portable, thanks to its compact design, although you'll have to bring the charger if you want to game on the go, as the battery life is very short when gaming. Its 1080p webcam is pretty good if you want to stream, and it doubles as a Windows Hello IR camera for facial recognition, allowing you to log in quickly. The keyboard gets a little hot under load, but thankfully, the fans remain relatively quiet and aren't distracting. The Razer is available in three preset configurations. All three have the same AMD Ryzen 9 6900HX CPU, 16GB of RAM, and 1TB of storage, so you only have to choose the display and GPU combo you want. We recommend getting the base model with an FHD 144Hz display and an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 GPU or the mid-range model with a QHD 165Hz display and an RTX 3070 T. The top-end RTX 3080 T configuration will provide higher frame rates, but it's significantly more expensive and isn't the best option value-wise. 2. ASUS ROG Zephyrus G14 if you find our top pick too expensive, consider the ASUS ROG Zephyrus G14. This all-AMD system sports an AMD Ryzen 9 6900HS CPU, and you can choose between an AMD Radeon RX 6700S or 6800S GPU. Both GPUs provide smooth gameplay in ah, titles at the display's native QHD resolution. As for the display itself, the 120Hz IPS panel has a fast response time to deliver a clear image in fast-moving scenes, and FreeSync support to reduce screen tearing. The storage maxes out at 1TB, which isn't very much considering the size of modern games, however, it's user-upgradable. Ports include two USB-S, two USB-C-S, an HDMI, and an SD card reader. One last thing. There's a newer model of the G14 with AMD Ryzen 7000 CPUs and NVIDIA 40 series GPUs, and consequently, this 2022 model is often on sale at around US dollars So it's a great time to pick one up. Another option is the HP Omen 16. It's a great alternative if you want a larger 16-inch screen or prefer an Intel NVIDIA system. It's available with an Intel 12th Gen Core 5 or i7, and there are many GPU options, from an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650 to an RTX 3070 T. It has a wider port selection than the ASUS, as it includes an Ethernet port and Thunderbolt for support. Also, it doesn't get as hot or loud under load. The downside is that none of the available displays get very bright, so it might not be the best option if you often use the laptop in very well-lit settings. 3. Lenovo Legion 5 Gen 615 Our best budget pick is the Lenovo Legion 5 Gen 615, an affordable 15.6-inch model that you can configure with an AMD Ryzen 5 5600H, or Ryzen 7 5800H CPU and an NVIDIA Discrete GPU. The GPU options range from an entry-level NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650 to a powerful RTX 3070, with ray tracing and DLSS support. It's best to get at least an RTX 3060 at this time, as the RTX 3050 and GTX 1650 can't handle newer, more demanding games, even at 1080p. For the display, we recommend the 165Hz 1080p or 1440p panel for the best visual experience, as they have the fastest response time and support variable refresh rate to reduce screen tearing. The RAM and SSD are user-replaceable, so you can add more later if you want to spend less up front. Build-wise, this laptop has a sturdy chassis with a finish that doesn't scratch or smudge easily. The keyboard feels great to type on, and there are plenty of ports, including 4 USB-S, 2 USB-C-S, an HDMI 2.1, and an Ethernet port. 
The USB-C port doesn't support Thunderbolt 4 since this is an AMD system, and there's no fingerprint sensor or a facial recognition IR camera for quick logins either. One last thing to mention, depending on your configuration, if the total price gets close to $1,000, you may consider going with the ASUS ROG Zephyrus G14 we recommend above. The ASUS price has been steadily dropping since there's a newer version of the laptop, making it a great deal. The downside is that you'd lose out on features like NVIDIA's DLSS, which generally works better than AMD's version of the upscaling feature. 4. HP Victus 15. If you want something cheap for basic 60 frames per second gaming, get the HP Victus 15. This 15.6-inch laptop is available with an Intel Core i5 or i7 12th gen CPU, which performs very similarly to the current 13th gen processors. You have three choices for the GPU, an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650, RTX 3050, or 3050T. All three GPUs can push 60 frames per second in most games, but they might have some trouble with newer titles. We recommend getting an RTX 3050 or 3050T, which ensures a better experience in newer games. There are only 1080p display options. The 144Hz 1080p panel with 100% sRGB is the best, but if you plan on playing with an external monitor, it doesn't matter which one you get. This laptop is mostly plastic but feels sturdy. It has a great full-size keyboard with a numpad, an Ethernet and HDMI 2.1 port, and Wi-Fi 6 wireless connectivity. The keyboard doesn't get overly hot when doing intensive tasks like gaming, and the fans are quiet. No biometrics, unfortunately. Also, the battery lasts only around an hour or so of gaming, so you'll have to play plugged in most of the time, and like the laptop, the power adapter is pretty bulky.